Hello, welcome to What the Flick, our discussion of Newsroom, episode three of this final season. The show is called Main Justice. Not, not again. You loved it. Not even trying. <laughs> Look all over your face. It's just general pleasure. <laughs> Contentment. Alonzo, Brett, Ben. Here's a clip from Main Justice. Do you know where Neil Sampat is? What are my rights in this situation? Stand away from your desk. Go on, Jim, power up our control room. Gary, grab a camera. Charlie. Randy and Blair have to be stopped from selling the shares. This is the new HR rep. Why? I think we're dating. And I'm gonna nail you. Did Mr. Sampat tell you the name of the source? Yes. Will you tell us the source? No. But you got a problem. So a lot of fun guest stars on this show. Mm -hmm. uh, that guy who played the assistant attorney general for national security played Joe Mankiewicz in Liz and Dick, is that what it was called? The, oh, the, the Lindsay Lohan. Lohan. Yeah, yeah. So, cool. Uh, so I like that guy instinctively. Um, <laughs> you know, he played uh, fullback for A&M. And he played, he played four years A&M, kept losing to Nebraska. Mm -hmm. um, I also, there were a couple things, uh, you mentioned that it was uh, it was an NBC sitcom reunion. Yeah, a ghost of, of, of NBC shows past, because you had BJ Novak from The Office, and uh, bless his heart, I don't know his name. Toby. Tufer. And Tufer. And, Tufer and, and from, Toby. Oh, Tufer. And Toby Tufer from The Office. From, uh, and, Tufer from 30 Rock. Tufer from 30 Rock. And, and Toby, Toby from The Office, you're right. Right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was, uh, um, now. They had a clearance sale, apparently. Yeah. When they, uh, uh, you not doing anything? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> you not doing uh, I, can't believe truck. I can't believe you're not on the Mindy Project. Like, it's how are actually, you not on the Mindy Project? It's, it's just in like the fine print of their original office. It's like a holdover from Studio 60. <laughs> that contract is just when you signed around that around the 30 Rock launch time. Should so, Mr. Sorkin create another? Yeah. So well, I'd, like yeah. to, I'd like to be fair. So let's start with you guys, who might be more fair about this show than I am. Mm. What did you like about this episode? Ooh, I still like Dawn. I like him. I like that. Oh, Dawn. 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 No, you. No, no, no. The you guy. said that you gave a little Dawn. Dawn. <laughs> Dawn. No, I like the guy. I Dawn like... is the secretary. Dawn is the. No, right. yeah, wrong no, no, show. No, no. Sorry. <laughs> uh, God, see, now I just watched that little clip that we showed, and all I remember is the bad stuff. <laughs> I like the bungle it. I liked the bungle it for the most part when, when uh, uh, you know, Jeff Daniels calls out the assistant uh, attorney general or whatever mm -hmm. for bungling this. Mm -hmm. I that, did like that noiry moment that of was, talky talk. That was no. That was that was I thought a really good scene where um, he said that I, I sent you messages. I was I was going to cooperate. That was very clear. Your agents must have told you. You insulted Charlie. You insulted my fiance. You scare. You threatened us with Neil. You said you were going to bankrupt us. You you know you uh, uh, like that. Now yeah. I'm done. I'm done. That was a nice moment, but then of course didn't work. I yeah. liked the whole discussion about uh, how internet journalism works, uh, mainly because it didn't feel like it was an entirely one-sided argument. I mean, yes, for the most part, the idea of uh, of, of Getting paid based on your clicks it leads us into bad directions. But on the other hand, it wasn't such a straw man argument that that they didn't allow you know Lil Merrill to make some points. You know? Yeah, it's yeah. People should want to you know I should be rewarded for something people are interested in. That doesn't mean I'm going to bastardize like my integrity. Yeah, like the, I'll do I nothing like but click. I, I I disliked the manner in which it was presented. Right, that's the because it gets presented in a manner where you're supposed to believe that B J Novak is this. I guess now we're supposed to believe what they tell us to believe about him—that he's. But oh no 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 no! I'm going. I'm going back to 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 Meryl Streep's, to Meryl Streep's daughter, daughter and, uh, and Jim. Jim. When they're oh, in oh, bed, right. oh, that they're was having a, that, that conversation. conversation about. I liked that it went back and forth. I didn't like the "you're going." The only way you're going to survive the night, young man, is if you go <laughs> to sleep right now. Yeah, that, yeah, was, that, that was, was a little. That was atrocious. Um, no, and I liked it. Well, they had it again then with <laughs> B.J. Novak and Charlie Skinner a little when he's saying about yes. the other channels that uh -huh. they would have, and it's amusing. And then it's a funny line. I just thought of Danny Glover. We'll have an entire channel and the on the stalking the channel of with people who are just stalking Danny Glover. <laughs> So that's a funny line, but it's a it's ridiculous. It, it, and it's, it reminded it, me of when um, Will Arnett used to go on Thirty Rock, actually, and his one of his ideas was was like celebrity snuff. Uh, <laughs> what what's that? Danny Bonaduce just killed Left Eye Lopez. Thanks, phone. <laughs> so right, so 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 that's a great great point because Will Arnett's character on Thirty Rock is only in those great scenes with Alec Baldwin is only slightly more exaggerated than Aaron Sorkin <laughs> trying to make real points sometimes. Right. Yeah, that's that's frustrating. I, I like B.J. Novak's general affect of, I don't know what this guy's thinking. I think he's just being crazy. 
Um, I do like that. I was expecting, you know, there's a other option for who you're going to sell your network to when it's in trouble, and that's just from personal experience. Maybe they would sell it to Al Jazeera. <laughs> like, right. I was waiting Maybe for that. Maybe the Arabs just, would be it's interested. Like, oh, who would show up with a bundle of cash? Like, well, you know, there's a lot of money underneath the I, Middle East. I just... There are two. There were two things on the show because I thought this was one of the worst episodes the newsroom's ever aired. Just atrocious. Just an abysmal affront to writing and a thing that makes you hate, hate, hate everyone involved. And moments when you shouldn't have to hate them. Uh, that said, of course, I enjoyed watching. Um, yeah, uh -huh. So I. Um, but like one, uh, Maggie's uh, boyfriend. Like he named him Jack Spaniel, right? Oh. Like. <laughs> Just enough, 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 and no one's talking about it. Hey, you know, your name for two dogs, right? Nobody brings yeah. that up, right? <laughs> right? It's just, so uh, one is named, and then this, this. It's a, I know, like, double dog you, like don't think of this as nitpicking, because of course, if you just take it as this small point, it's massively nitpicking. What I'm about to say, but they go around. It's a meeting. Charlie wants everyone to meet in the west side of the building. No one who's ever been in any building knows where east or west is when you're inside a building. <laughs> no one talks like that, and no one the knows. House. Ballroom, I got. <laughs> right, right. Meet, meet in the ballroom. Meet in the kitchen. Meet in the hallway just off the conservatory. Right now. Uh, quick, 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 the Brett. The ficus room. Quick, Brett, to the west side of the of the studio. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Everyone, everyone should just like go like this for a second. Right, At go, least have that. East, west. Right, here's, here's what <laughs> pissed me off. There's two moments where it's like, this happened in an episode of Homeland, and it happened again in this show, where people want to have their super secret private meeting in the echoiest place on Earth. <laughs> yep. When Mac and the FBI agent decide, oh, no one followed you, okay, I don't want to oh, yeah. be where anyone can hear room. us. Hear us, hear <laughs> us, hear <laughs> us. <laughs> and we can sort of clearly see that no one's hiding in this room full of steam. This <laughs> dark room. <laughs> but uh, then, And then to that point also, like, so the source shows up and talks to Mac. Right? Clear to all. Right. And so, right. So she comes up and talks to Mac, and then they're having, the, and Mac fish, at first is like, stop talking. And then we cut to another scene and we come back to them, and I guess, okay, now start talking. Right? Forget yes. it. We've moved past the stuff. And then she writes down on a napkin that at one point she says, we don't want to, Mac says, we don't want to get anybody else killed. And Clear to all says, we want to, um, uh, what about the people killed already? And she writes that on a napkin. Mm. Why did you write that on a napkin? What, just, what, what, what was so telling about everything you said should have been written on a napkin? Yeah, I think you said, I'm the source out I'm loud. The, I'm yeah. the source out loud. And then, what about the people killed? That's not a terrible line. Uh, many people could say, what about the people killed already at that point? Well, it was an air, air napkin. It wasn't, an, it wasn't part of the network. It had an air buffer around it. <laughs> it had uh, never been on the internet. It had never been. That, yeah. So another thing that pisses me off that's just one of those, like, okay, you just this would never happen, is like, you know, t uh, twofer. Yeah. Stalking these a, people. A crusading HR mm. agent. Against two people dating when already some people are getting married. I don't understand that, especially if their cover is, listen, we're about to undergo like a major merger and I don't want any th news to get out about this. Well, here's the thing. The only way news is gonna get out about this is if you expose at this point before a merger some unethical relationship between, you know. Yeah, you're a financial reporter. Yeah, like I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, the, I'm a VP at the seventh largest uh, uh, media conglomerate in the world. Of course I'm at this meeting. But then why are you acting like you, you work at Dick's Sporting Goods, yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, I'm like, gonna get you. Yeah, gonna he's get like you. Steve Buscemi, and I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Like For sniffing what? around the garbage. So that, so that one of you has to get transferred to the DC Bureau? So stupid. Like, what's the, yes, win for HR! <laughs> no, but, okay. it is, but he doesn't seem like one of those characters. No, That's the yeah, problem. No, yeah, just, no. Now, do we buy that the FBI would stand down under threat of having their legal warranted search of a newsroom captured yeah, on camera like and either. broadcast live? I don't believe they'd no. stand down, or I don't believe they would have gone in the first place because, by the way, of course they should report that. Like, they don't need to fake pretend to report that. The FBI came in and seized a bunch of our computers on a national security thing that we're looking for. We're not going to repeat. Of course they can report that. Yeah, yeah, that's a show-off thing. A, right, that's a, right, that's a story. That's it's what a, they're about to do when they serve Jeff Daniels a subpoena. Right, yeah. I mean, if that's, that's the kind of thing you turn into a house ad. Yeah, know? it will be front and center. That's like yeah, the final so, decision that so they the, made. So the drama in there was false because... They're like, we're not, you know, I mean, it was a little funny that they didn't know how to fake do the newscast because that is true that. No one knows you know, how to turn on like the I would not. I, you know, oh, there's yeah, that, no uh, one. That stuff, I had no idea. I've been in TV since 1993. 
I don't know how it works. No, we're not. <laughs> Transmitted, I don't know how the thing, I don't know step. Magic is part of it, but I don't know all of it. <laughs> so some level of necromancy, but I don't really uh... So there was just, and then there was just a lot of the old school relationship. We got the Jim and Meryl Streep's daughter banter, and then that led to more of the Jim and Maggie, you know, and the, him looking longingly at her. And that conversation they had where he pretended not to know anything about science, when we already have established that he knows Instantly, uh, a, an explosion that forced a guy down meant that was an explosion because that's a force projector. <laughs> you know, yeah, it got, absolutely like, how, right. Is he is he a genius or is he not a genius? No, 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 just, no. But all that stuff was intended to sort of to to make her realize the challenge of putting that story out there. I got it. He but, was standing in for Joe, average viewer. No, he didn't. Yeah, okay, but he still seemed he still didn't quite get it. There was still like, remember when he was like, CO two is two parts oxygen, one part. And he was like, got I, it. I, Wait, do I know that? Like, I yeah. just, it's, again, it's, it's just, it's, I get what they're trying and, to do. And then, and after all this buildup of the, of the, the FDA guy, to have him then, or the, the EPA guy, sorry, to then just have him be like, I couldn't tell if they were saying that he's a nihilist crackpot or that he's actually telling the truth and the truth has driven him to be nuts. I think Sorkin sat down and said to himself, all right, what can I do to fix the reporting of the EPA Climate reports? Change, right. And yeah, right. so what if I just have someone go out there and say the worst case scenario with no hope for survival? Right. And so, uh, yeah, and I, I did think that like- Cue the give, Malthusian. Yeah, given what that dude said, I would have reacted the same as the people in the in the room. Yeah. And I would have tried to say, okay, so how do so, we fix it? Yeah. So that at least their reaction was the same as my reaction, whether it's accurate that we're too late. You then, know. then why was uh, Toby so, from the office, so concerned that she was gonna do the initial reporting if this is what he said? I mean, you can't have sabotaged your career more by I'm, this tonight. I mean, I could, I can see the, 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 the maybe the, the whole point of was that he, the end game was to get her to publicize this report that nobody else wanted to because it was him being the, the, the mm -hmm. voice of doom, and by making it seem like he was letting her in on something that was yeah. like sexy and newsworthy. But to get to that part, you still have to wade through the whole first part where. There's the story that doesn't want reported, and that doesn't make sense in light of the story that does get reported. You're right. It's, yeah, you know. I get it. I, I get like all the math that he was doing in his head. Like I want to hit, a, I want to hit the first point plus this together, and so I get the 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 all the parts that's wrong with all the parts that are wrong with reporting on the environment. I'm going to fix them all one by one in the order they are arrive in the production <laughs> of know, a news. Story. And and then, and then, and now again, I sit back in the chair and I'm like, God, I'm such a fucking asshole. Because it's like the only show that has a whole segment about what's wrong with reporting on the environment, yeah. which of course I want to be like, thank you, Aaron Sorkin, thank you for doing that, but I can't, I can't in good conscience like this show, and I know that, I know that, you know, just from the from people I follow on Twitter in the middle of season one who were so excited for it, who were all, they're on the right side of life, and they yeah. were all like, ay, yay, ay, say. Something else they did right was okay, that good, good, moment. Good. When they re when they cut to the correspondence dinner, when you go from all these people who are also passionate about reporting the news, and then you set up Will's previous statements about the correspondence dinner, right. and then you cut to what it must be like there, which is champagne, mm -hmm. and everyone just wants to have access and be at this awesome party. Mm -hmm. When you when you really break it down, what the White House correspondence dinner is, and how all these people just put down their weapons and come and hang out and have free dinner. Like, I get that, and that, that is a little repulsive. It's the Golden Globes yeah. for the punditocracy, I think, yeah. basically. Yeah, that's right, except that it doesn't matter, the, the Golden Globes. Like, the scandal of the Golden Globes is that you can kind of buy yourself the Golden Globes. They only nominate people who come make the show. Well, whoop de doo Like, right. like we, don't, we know that that's an artificial world. Here, This is ostensibly people this with This is real more stuff. You're yeah. reporting, reporting right. stuff that matters and, and, and keeping a balance mm -hmm. between the... And, and the idea... And so Maggie of, brings the ethics guy, of course. <laughs> Right, and I didn't even mind the train scene a little bit, except for the, you know, the, ever again, the banter is just too, like something, something that worked on the West Wing doesn't, doesn't work here. Yeah. Well, we're still in, we're still watching, we're halfway through the final no, season. I mean, I'm now, but to this episode, I was, I was like, I'm glad it's not 12. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, yeah, my, my progression through this season has been the first episode I thought was stupid. Mm -hmm. The second episode, I was like, this is really good. It's good. Yeah. It's good. And this episode, I'm like, nah, six is fine. 
<laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, this well, this, this may same. be the Star Trek uh, movie franchise of seasons where the even ones are good, and so you know. Yeah. So we got yeah, two, four, are they four skipping? Are to. they skipping Thanksgiving too? Probably. Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe because Showtime is. So uh, if right. that's the case, see you in two weeks. And if not, yeah, maybe on Monday. We'll see.